Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix this error. The application was unable to start correctly. 0xc000007b. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first of all, what I suggest you to do here is to uh, go to command prompt, uh, right click on it, run as admin, and then you just need to write SF, uh, sfc forward slash scan now and wait until the uh, process is done. And after verification process is completed, uh, look if the problem persists or not. If the problem persists, then open a browser. Then you just need to write process monitor and click on learn.microsoft.com and download a process monitor on your PC here. Once you got the file, right click uh, on it, then go to extract all and extract whatever you like, whenever you like, right? And then you should uh, get this folder here. And then you just need to click on procmon.exe and hit yes. Then uh, here we need to wait for a couple of seconds. And then here you just need to select yes. Stop, uh, capture, uh, erase everything here. Then uh, you need to go on filters here. Select a, a process, start, process name. Then you need to start the app that is not working. And once you got the error on the, on this uh, line, you need to write specific uh, thing here. So in my case, it's gta5.exe. For you, it may be different. And then you just need to add, okay, apply, okay. Then close your game. Just in my case, I just need to press stop. And then I need to wait for a couple of seconds until the game is completely uh, stopped. Then go back on process process monitor, uh, enable capture, and then run the game, right? And run the game for a, I don't know, 10 seconds, right? And then you can close it again. So once you uh, got the tasks on pro process monitor, you can close game again. And then you just need to look for name not found, right click on it, and then uh, make sure to select highlight name not found, right? And then you need to look for a DLL uh, error that, uh, uh, look for a specific DLL file that appeared more than a couple of times. So it should be more than two times uh, that particular uh, DLL should appear here with a name not found. So let's look for it. And as you can see here, guys, I just found the issue. Uh, this file is probably uh, preventing uh, from open uh, from op opening the game, and uh, that's why we're getting the error. Uh, for me, it's d three dx nine underscore dash forty three dot dll. As you can see here, there is uh, one, two, three, uh, four, four times, even more, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So definitely that particular file. So what you need to do here, you need to just uh, uh, go to a, again, we need to close the game here. Then you just need to open up File Explorer. Then you need to, on File Explorer, you need to go to a, uh, as you can see here, uh, this PC, then Disk C, then Windows, and first a folder that we need to find is System32. Uh, so System32. And then on search, you need to look for a specific DLL file that we got. So for me, it's the uh, 3DX943.dll. Uh, and uh, if there is 43, if there, there is that particular file here uh, on the system, what you need to do here, uh, I just deleted uh, the file, but uh, for you, it should appear uh, when you put the exact name. And then what you need to do here is to uh, delete that particular file file from uh, that folder uh, and then you need to go to a, a other folder uh, sysvow64 sysvow64 uh, look for specific dll file uh, i just deleted it uh, so i could get this error but for you uh, it should appear that exact file name on search and then delete that particular file and then what you need to do here is to uh, go on uh, search and then you just need to write direct X and then just download and direct X to your computer. Once it's done, it is. 
I'm going to wait for a couple of seconds, accept agreement, uh, deselect this option here and install DirectX. And after that, restart your computer and your issue should be solved. So yeah, that's basically it.